10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have liftoff of the Falcon 9. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. From the beginning of human civilization, our interest in the heavens has been universal and enduring. Humanity can now explore beyond the borders of our planet, but private spaceflight wouldn't be possible without the contributions of Tom Mueller, rocket scientist and founding father of SpaceX. As a child and teenager, Tom built model rockets growing up in his North Idaho hometown of St. Mary's. With a strong math background, Tom was planning to be an aircraft mechanic until his high school teacher asked a life-changing question. He said, do you want to be the guy that fixes the plane or the guy that designs it? These words inspired Tom to study mechanical engineering at the University of Idaho. After moving to California and graduating with a master's degree, he joined aerospace company TRW. At TRW, he was a lead engineer of the TR-106 engine, one of the most powerful rocket engines ever constructed. He also spent his weekends flying his own inventions with an amateur rocket club called Reaction Research Society. That's how he met SpaceX CEO Elon Musk. And in 2002, Tom joined SpaceX as the company's first employee. When SpaceX was founded, few people believed it was possible to build a brand new liquid-fueled rocket engine without government backing. In the years to come, Tom was instrumental in developing engines that set an entirely new industry standard. As SpaceX's Vice President of Propulsion, Mueller led development of the Merlin and Kestrel engines for the Falcon 1, the first liquid-fueled orbital rocket launched by a private company. The Merlin engine has the highest thrust to weight of any booster engine developed and was the nation's first new liquid fuel rocket engine to fly in 40 years. After years of development, with some failures along the way, SpaceX launched Falcon 1 in 2008. This success paved the way for the Falcon 9, which completed its 100th successful launch in a row this year. Because these rocket engines were designed to be reusable, it allowed the company to save millions of dollars over the course of its life cycle. NASA estimates that developing the Falcon engines would have cost the agency roughly $4 billion. SpaceX accomplished this incredible feat at a fraction of the cost. Tom's innovative, cost-cutting designs ultimately pioneered the way for spaceflight to become accessible to private industry. Even though Tom retired from SpaceX in 2020, his life hasn't slowed down. At home, he races fast cars while thinking up fast designs for the next generation of rockets. Yeah, it's just been quite a ride to get here and I never really had a plan to, to get there. I just, uh, I think I made the right decisions at the right time when they, when they came up and uh, ended up doing exactly what I wanted to do in life. As the CEO of Impulse Space Propulsion, Mueller's new company will design orbital transfer vehicles that can move satellites around in space efficiently and at a low cost. The main thing is optimism and just like, I think that can-do attitude, just like, oh yeah, we can do that. I think that's what Elon saw in me. Mueller hopes to one day build a testing site in Idaho. He also hopes his induction will inspire the next generation of Idaho rocket scientists to follow their dreams and also reach for the stars. It's great, it's an honor to be, um, you know, to be honored by my own state. And I, I think it's a great opportunity for more people to hear my story. 
I hope that I can inspire a few kids out there that are like me that haven't found the right path yet to, to get on that path. And this is another way to get my story out and make sure that uh, kids are not falling through the cracks.